What's going on everybody? You already know who it is. It is your boy that guy the dragon dude here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you the mouse and keyboard movement guide um, For Modern Warfare 3. So we're gonna start out with some basic things here and some basic concepts And we're going to progress and this is gonna get more technical more difficult Now I'm gonna say that this is not like one of these videos where you just see people running around just like shaking their screen and doing all that crazy stuff no this is a practical movement guide and practical lobbies and try hard lobbies i would say with skill-based matchmaking on and how to outplay your opponents there is useful movement and then there's not that useful movement that you see a lot of these kids do so without further ado let's get right into it now the first thing i want to go over is keybinds okay uh, real quick, I'm gonna show you my keybinds that I use. I W A S D. Um, I use my prone and dive as C, and then my crouch and slide is uh, caps. A lot of people use control to, uh, you know, go prone. I personally don't like that, and they use C to crouch or slide. I personally like this setup more, and I will explain that later on in the video. But C is my uh, crouch. Or C is my dive and my prone. So if I'm in attack sprint, I can still jump, you know, off buildings and stuff and get that uh, boost. Or if I am running, I can instantly go prone, right? So we're going to be showing you guys all of the movement techniques. So first off, we're going to go with a very basic one, and that is the slide cancel in this game on mouse and keyboard. In order to slide cancel, all you have to do is go into a attack sprint, and then you're just going to slide. And then when you're ready to exit out of the slide cancel, you're just going to press your jump button, which in my case is spacebar. So it's just slide space, boom. Now, please note that you only could do this around six times before you just go into a, uh, just like a running, like how I did right there. I'm slide canceling, now I run, now I'm going, or into a tax print, I should say. I slide cancel, slide cancel, slide cancel, slide cancel, and then I can keep doing it and now I'm running and then I go back into a tax sprint and now I just keep running and it takes a while for me to get my uh, tax sprint back. So when you're doing this, you do not want to just be slide canceling around the map. You get around six uh, slide cancels before, five or six, before you stop slide canceling. So only use the slide cancel when you need to, and there's certain scenarios that you can do in order to hit a slide cancel and throw your opponents off. And one of those is coming on this map right here, everybody is checking that corner. So what you can do is run your attack sprint, slide cancel, right? That's all you're gonna do is crouch, and then, or hit your crouch button, which is gonna make you slide, and then you're gonna hit your space bar, which is gonna make you jump. So you can slide, boom, jump. And when you, to cancel your slide, is all, you just gotta hit the jump button, that's it. It's super simple, super easy. Now, I'm gonna be getting into another movement technique, and that is the fast drop shot, which is when you're in a tax sprint and you just drop, like that. Now, this was in Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 2, and they patched it, but it's originally like, it's a super, it's an instant drop shot. It, it's really fast in here. So all you're gonna do is, and this is the way I do it. I know there's a lot more simple ways of doing this. Uh, some people use it with a foot pedal. Some people use it with a certain bind. I don't do that. I literally just uh, go ahead and I hit my S and my C button at the same time. And that's, all I do. So remember my C is uh, prone, uh, to go prone. So right here, I have prone slash slide. My C is to prone, and my S just moves me backwards. And this is why I like it, because all I have to do is move my two fingers over and hit those buttons. So it's not that difficult. All you're gonna do is, as you're in attack sprint, you can drop shot. And there's a delay before you can get up and jump, but that's fine because, you know, we go from attack to drop, and then immediately we can get up and go back into sprinting, okay? That's another thing. Uh, also, I want to note that I am not using uh, automatic attack sprint because I like to walk slow, okay? I like to, if I have to peek around the corner or if I just want to get up close and I just kind of want to do one of these, I can do that. Or if I just want to do one of these, I can do that without having to sprint forward. And the way I do that is uh, I go here. I think I go into gameplay. I have automatic attack sprint off. 
and I have single tap to run. So every time I press shift, I go into a tax sprint. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now that we have the instant drop shot down, and again, for me, that's just S and C after a tax sprint goes down. Instant drop shot. And you want to do this while ADSing. And how do you know you do the instant drop shot? Is your hand, your left hand is going to kind of like come down and like catch you. See how like my left hand like disappeared? Boom. Boom. Kind of just disappears. And that's an instant drop shot. And that is S and C for me. So back and then your prone button. And you can go instant drop shot. And you're going to do this like while ADSing. Instant drop shot catches people off guard all the time. And it used to be broken to where you could break it to you can just go in the stance and then like go do a weird animation. I haven't figured out how to do that on here. Next thing we're going to be talking about is snaking. So remember how I was talking about the intro drop, instant drop shot? How uh, we can do that? Well, it's the same thing. And it's the same thing with sh uh, snaking. And same thing as Modern Warfare 2. All you're going to want to do is you're going to come up to a piece of cover. Make sure that you are tax sprinting. Okay. Make sure you have your tax sprint. And then you're just going to tax sprint, insta drop shot, that's going to move you back. And then you're going to get up and to a tax sprint again. So you're going to boom, and you're just going to repeat that, and you're going to get a motion here. And this is how you snake, okay? It's literally me just moving my hands back and forth between C and or S and C, and then uh, me pressing shift and W. So it, it, it's really easy. And a lot, I know a lot of people like to put their movement on their mouse. I personally don't like doing that because say if I put it to my uh, like scroll reel, unless I use my middle pointer finger or the, I guess, FU finger, uh, I would have to hit my scroll wheel down and I can't like shoot while I'm doing this. So I could shoot while doing this like boom, boom, boom. I can take a couple shots here, reload. Do whatever I have to do, come back up and just snake the enemy. Okay. Now, a lot of people want to know how to do this. Next move that we're going to be talking about, and that's the slide to insta drop shot. So, same thing as snaking, guys. We're building upon principle here. Same thing as snaking. Say that if there's someone, I'm I'm sprinting out, I'm coming from spawn, people are always going to be over here, right? So instead of like jump chowing this or like trying to do like a little bunny hop, you know, or staying at the corner just crouch i can go and do a slide to instant drop shot so i slide and then it's instant drop shot there's a little bit of a delay so you're going to be like crouch drop so slide and then it's just boom and it's way faster people it catches people off guard all the time you can go around click on somebody behind and they're just not going to uh catch you off guard it, it, it's actually crazy how like people just don't they don't uh, catch this. So what you're going to do is you are going to go into a slide. Okay, you're going to go into a slide. And then when you're ready to instant drop shot, you don't even have to complete your slide. You're going to slide and then you're going to press S and then your prone button. Okay, so you're going to press S and your prone button. So that's going to move you back and then that's going to make you insta drop shot, okay? You do not wanna do the slide, this, and then this, okay? So you don't wanna do a slide cancel. You're going from a slide to a drop, okay? You're not slide canceling and then dropping. You can't do that. So that's how you know you're gonna be doing it wrong is if you're trying to slide cancel and then do it. No, you're not doing that. What you're going to be doing is you're just gonna let the slide go and then instead of pressing your jump button, you're going to be stuck like this. All you're going to do is press S and C to instant drop shot or S and prone. Okay. So after your slide, S and prone. So slide S and prone. Boom. That's how you do it. You're not going to be stuck in this weird animation. Like if you slide cancel and then you try to do it, you can't do it. So it's just you going through sliding and then proning instantly the insta prone drop shot and that's uh pretty much the movement guide in here i know there's a lot of other quirky little movement that I, i'm not going to show because it's not really practical and it's going to get patched like people just going around being a snake like that's going to be patched so there's no point in showing that uh or how to do that and it's not really practical i guess if you're like trying to snake up to like 
this head glitch or whatever like you're snaking and then you're trying to you know get here quickly i guess that's useful but it's going to get patched so there's no point in showing it but yeah that's how you do that so remember the slide cancel at the beginning is just slide and then your jump button that's how you slide cancel and you don't want to be doing this around the map because it takes a while for you to get your like tech your instant tax sprint back so whatever you do you're just going to use this like around corners to slide cancel around corners or to slide instant drop shot around corners or you can even do this like if you're coming out here and you want to see if people are over here you could slide instant drop shot and then come in and then kind of snake this right or you could just do so many things with this, like this insta drop shot, you saw somebody, they probably saw you, and then you can just snake them and get the kill, right? So uh, this is built upon principle, it's useful movement, and it will help you out in the long run in your gunfights. Say someone's chasing you or getting shot behind, you can insta turn around and then insta drop shot and kill them. It's really simple, really easy, and movement in this the game this year actually is a skill gap, when to use it. Um, and how to use it and implement it so i hope you guys enjoy the video and uh you learned something new today as always remember stay blessed stay humble and also i guess another thing before we go in everybody wants to know the class setup <clears throat> you can make this class a lot faster but in my lobbies it's not practical to run anything else but the covert sneakers because you know everybody's sound whoring so i guess it's super important to understand that a lot of these guys are using like lightweight boots with the infantry vest, which it's not really worth it because everybody's just going to sound whore you. So I use the infantry vest and um, covert sneakers when I'm running um, a SMG. And then when I'm running an AR, I use an engineer vest and then I use a ghost and then a mag holster. And then um, I don't use tactical pads. I use covert sneakers. And then the gloves that I use are the assault gloves, improved AV. ADS uh, accuracy while jumping in ADS time. So that's how I'm able to like jump shot really fast. And uh, it's just a really useful movement. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, remember to say blessings, stay humble. Let me know down in the comment section below what other videos you guys want to see when involving Modern Warfare 3. Some more aim tips and tricks videos coming out soon. Like I said, stay blessed, stay humble. Catch you in another video. Peace.